Coming up with a good product name is every bit as important as the product is itself. Some are so good and catchy that they end up becoming part of our vernacular. For example, Kleenex has come to mean all facial tissues and Band-Aids is pretty well used for all adhesive bandages for smaller wounds. However, there are some product names that are just plain awful and they'll make you wonder why they were chosen. In this video, we will have a closer look at some of the worst product names that no longer exist. Have you ever suffered from greasy hair but just don't have time or feel like taking a shower? When you can't shampoo, mini poo. It's no problem at all. Just whisk it on and brush it out. Your hair will be looking pretty in just minutes. No woman should ever go without a little mini poo in her hair. Today, most people want to lower their cholesterol, not increase it. But that wasn't always the case. Cholesterol hair conditioner was the perfect product to repair hair from bleaches, permanents, back combing, and weather. After all, your hairdresser recommends it and your hair depends on it. When you hear the name Macho, it may conjure up images of Randy the Macho Man Savage or perhaps a 1978 hit song by the village people. But in the 1970s, it was bad, as in a good way. Macho was a line of manly products that came in cologne, deodorant, and soap. If you use a little imagination, then there's certainly no denying how masculine this bottle shape was. Acne is something that many teens have always battled. Throughout the years, there have been many different products on the market to help combat it. One of the best methods you could do is wash your face every morning and evening at the very least. But if you happen to be away or you would like more washings during the day, then try wiping with young people. Everybody wants young people all over their face. Ritz is probably one of the most recognized crackers in America. But there was a time when people were addicted to something else. Cracks. They claimed that they were the most imitated cracker in America and the original educator. Imagine going into a supermarket today and asking what aisle their cracks on. Today people really are educated and they know that cracks kills. In the 1950s, the company Tony came out with a line of products that helped women with their perms and gave it a new result, hidden body. That may have sounded okay back then, but today it just sounds like some creepy guy that would have a hidden body in the trunk of his car or buried out in a field. The 1950s also gave way to this wonderful product for women, sus pants. The name itself now sounds a little suspect, but they were the wonder undie of their time. Women wore these to help hold up their stockings and they were for almost every body type. Take a look at how they describe these different body types. Toothpick Tilly, Model Form Millie, and Buxom Billy. At one time, American Standard came out with church seats. No, these were not pews, but I think that you could probably do that in them. The line was referred to as church jewels, although I'm not quite sure what denomination they were. They came in rich glowing colors to mix and match with any toilet. It really is a nice way to get seats in church. Mothers are usually good at keeping you out of stinky situations. Perhaps that's why the makers of Mum chose the name. She's quick, harmless, and long-lasting. She'll keep you fresh and odor-free, so make sure you always bring mum with you. There's no better way to lose weight than having a good case of AIDS. Of course, that sounds bad today because of the disease AIDS, but it used to have a different meaning. AIDS was a dietary supplemental candy that would help give you the power to say no to more food. They claimed it would leave you satisfied and you would want to eat less while consuming this candy. Soil lax sounds like the after effects in your pants while taking a laxative, but it wasn't. It was actually a cleaner that had germisol in it to help fight household germs. So if you did take a laxative, I'm sure it would clean up that as well. The young and free toiletries were meant to be used by tweens and young teens until it was time for you to turn into a beautiful woman. They had everything from shampoo to deodorant, and it was all designed to keep your young, sensitive skin and hair fresh, young, and pretty. 
In the 1980s, an engineer came out with a bone phone. Yes, it sounds like some sort of 1-900 service or a sexual toy, but it wasn't. It was actually a set of speakers that hung over your shoulders and weighed 15 ounces. Not only could you hear the music through the speakers, but you could also hear the music through your neck bones, which resonated all the way up to the sensitive bones of your inner ear. The bone phone guaranteed satisfaction and enjoyment through its vibrations. Every little girl in the 1960s knew that their daddy enjoyed a big yank. I know, it sounds horrible, and surely they could have come up with something better, even for the time. Big Yank slacks were sold in department stores and supposedly felt wonderful. There's really no better way to keep those pesky mosquitoes away than to rub scat on your skin. Sounds appealing, right? This scat was insect repellent that had a pleasant fragrance and it kept all sorts of bugs away. Ladies, when it's that time of the month, we all know that you need your meds. Or so the makers of meds thought. They were the makers of tampons and they guaranteed comfort and sanitary protection because it was designed by a doctor. Go meds, go merrier. If you like beef, then you should try Biff. Wilson's Biff chopped beef was tender and the whole family would fall in love with it. Folks everywhere were raving how easily this beef slips out of the can. During the 1950s, if a woman was wearing sea molds, then she was definitely seaworthy. This was a line of swimsuits from Flexi's, but it sounds like some sort of sea scum. Come and experience the magic of sea mold. There's nothing like playing it safe with a good old prophylactic. That name would never fly today in a line of toothbrushes, but it certainly did about a hundred years ago. The definition of a prophylactic hasn't changed. It simply means preventative, precautionary, or protective, but in modern times it is more associated with a condom. If you're an active woman in the 1950s, then you could really benefit from the French-style Unicum. There's no doubt that this sounds bad, but these were actually breezy hairnets that would leave your hair looking well-groomed while you were outside enjoying your activities. Do you suffer from asthma, hay fever, foul breath, head colds, canker sores, throat diseases, or bronchial irritations? Then how about asthma cigarettes from Dr. Batty? These cigarettes provided temporary relief from different ailments, but they weren't recommended for children under the age of six. Most people will agree that there's nothing better than a great climax. If you want something satisfying, then try the Climax Plug. This early 20th century tobacco was sure to hit the spot after more than 134 years of experience. Are you having a devil of a time with your health? Try Satanic. It can make you sunny and feel great. It goes right to the cause of the trouble and gives it hell. No matter what you have, it will bring relief. If you go gay, you'll be discovered first. This was a hairspray that would hold and beautify every type of hair. Just look how happy they are. How happy can a chubby girl be? Well, if she's wearing chubbettes, she'll be thrilled. This was a line of fashions to make girls from sizes 6 to 16 look slimmer. Discover the magic and be happy about those extra pounds. Listerine cigarettes came out in 1927 from the makers of Listerine. They were infused with the same antiseptic oils that were used in their mouthwash. These cigarettes could kill 200 million germs in 15 seconds and help smokers to avoid colds as well as leaving them with fresh breath. Everyone knows that exercising is important, but sometimes it's difficult to get out and get it done. But now you can horse exercise at home. You know it's good because the Princess of Wales personally ordered one. This exercise device promotes circulation and it is also a cure for obesity, hysteria, and gout. One ride on this and you'll feel different. Are you having trouble losing weight? Try the Wonder Sauna Hot Pants. These inflatable pants help you look better and feel better. 
They will slenderize exactly where you want, which is probably a good thing if you're a guy wearing these hot pants. Vibrafinger Gum Massager <clears throat> Increases and improves circulation and stimulates gum tissue because that's exactly how it was intended to be used. Big Tits Potato Chips were a great buy at 10 cents during the 1930s in North Carolina. Big Tits was the nickname of Titus Tart, who was one of the owners of the Tart Chestnut Company. The image on the bag is that of Mr. Tart. Perhaps some of these products were good, but their names certainly didn't stick with us. Today they are quite funny to look back on. Can you think of any others that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching.